Hi everybody, welcome back to my next in my updated for 2024 series of videos about how to use the most excellent DAISY editor mod by Inclement Dad. But before we get started, I'd like to remind everybody that in the description below this video you'll find a link to a playlist that has all of these uh, tutorial videos in order. And also you'll see a link to a next tutorial and a previous tutorial so you can kind of watch them in some sort of logical order and hopefully they're in bite-sized chunks. So in this video I want to talk about the difference between objects that you can spawn with the DAISY editor and objects that spawn naturally within the game. So if I press the home button I, and I become my uh, my little fella here, this is what I call the uh, my northeast airfield training area, um, and this was created in Daisy Editor. Um, as you can see, I'm on the uh, I'm on the airfield, um, and I've spawned in all of these items to do tutorial videos about. And the way that these are spawned in is they're spawned in as objects using the Daisy editor. So, for example, I'll search up here and I'll go bottle. Right, and there's there's a vitamin bottle. So I say, right, I want a vitamin bottle. So I'll take that and then I'll put that on the table. There we go. So that's there. And we'll go to... I can be my fellow again. And there, there's a vitamin bottle that I can then, you know, interact with and make a video about. Um, and what I'll do is I'll normally upload this file to either a remote server or more commonly I'll, I'll use my local server to make these, um, make these videos. But it's very, very important to understand that, that if you spawn in objects like this, they do not work in the same way as objects that spawn in in the normal world. Uh, in Daisy, that is. So, if we just jump out of here, so if we then were to say go over to here, um, so you know you're familiar with this sort of place. It's kind of a, a garage or a you know, warehouse where vehicles can be stored. And here we have a little shed. And you'll know that in Daisy, as you're wandering around, if you come in somewhere like this, you'll find maybe like a jumpsuit, maybe a can of gasoline, uh, maybe a spanner, maybe uh, that, that sort of stuff. And then in the sheds. You maybe find a, a tarp or some rope or a headlight or something like that. It's kind of appropriate to where it is, so it'd be industrial things, wouldn't it? And these things, what they do is they spawn in and spawn out uh, as the server is running. So the way that it kind of works with this, in fact, if we go up higher, you can see see that town over there and that castle. So all of the time when people are on the server, um, loot will be spawning in. So at this medical place over here. At these tents there'll be medical stuff that's spawning in um, and then spawning out spawning in and spawning out same at this town uh, and that's why the uh, why as you wander around the map in daisy if you go into a police station for example you might find a shotgun you might find a police jacket you might find some handcuffs but they're not the same every time it's different stuff um, and it's in different places uh, in the police station, and that's kind of, that randomness is really important to normal um, loot gathering in Daisy because it means it's difficult to loot farm. And by loot farming, what I mean is going back to the same place again and again to get the same thing. Because if you visit a police station in Daisy, for example, looking for a shotgun, and there, you know, and you look around and there isn't one there. You can wander off, and maybe if you come back in like an hour, and you shouldn't do this because it's cheating really, it, one may have spawned in. But then you go away again and come back again, and then there won't be one there because they're constantly spawning in and out. That's an important part of the gameplay that makes Daisy what it is. Now, if you use the Daisy editor to spawn things in like this, whenever the server restarts, this stuff is here. So if I was to take this sewing kit, for example, and run off with it, and there was a server restart, to get another one, all I need to do is come up to this area, and this stuff will all be here. So you need to bear in mind that when you are creating structures, if you're tempted to spawn in loot this way, then it's always going to be there. And it means that players on a server can very, very easily loot spawn. Um, sorry, loot farm, which means keep coming back to the same area. Now, the other thing that happens as well is when you spawn in stuff this way, 
Uh, it's probably most obvious when we go over here. Um, what will happen is that vehicles and anything with attachments, say guns and stuff like that, they won't spawn in with attachments on them. So if you thought, oh, I'll spawn in some M4A ones, for example, with magazines and guns in them by placing things in the, the, the loot, the um, uh, daisy editor, they won't. So, for example, if I go over here and I go M4A, so there's the m 4 let's do the black one, so let's get that. Let's put one down here, and let's put that on that table. Let's go back to... Go back to my fella. So there's there's a nice M4, isn't it? In fact, I could take it to my hands. There we go. And there, there we have a nice M4. So in the editor, it's got all the loads of bits on it. But when you actually spawn that in on your server, when you've uh, added the object spawner file to it, it won't spawn in like that. So you can't actually do that. So let's jump out and let's have a look at the files that really controlled this. So. On your server, the, f the files that kind of control how much loot spawns in is and how it spawns in is really types.xml and cfgtypes.xml. So if we take the M4 again as an example, so what we can see is on a typical server, um, there'll be 10 M4A1. Well, that seems a bit much, actually. I think it's a lot less than that. <laughs> You'll get a number of M4 spawning in. Um, and they'll spawn in in the contaminated area, so the gas gas area, as weapons. And then if we go to CFG spawnable types and we look at the M4 thing, we can see that when they spawn in, there's a chance they'll spawn in with the OEB but so the OE buttstock. Uh, there's they will have the in fact they will have that uh, buttstock. They will have a plastic handle guard, um, and they will have. Uh, the M4 carry handle optic, and they've got a small chance of getting the boost optic. I think that's an error, actually. That, and a chance of uh, getting a mag. Well, there's a third of a, ch there's a 30% chance, or roughly a third chance, one will spawn in with a mag, and it will either be a 40, 10, 20, or the 30 round is up at one, which I think is wrong again. This this looks wrong actually. But what I'm what this means is that in the real game, when a weapon spawns in or a vehicle spawns in, there's a chance it will spawn in with some bits already on it. But with Daisy Editor, if you spawn something in as an object, it won't. So let's jump back to Daisy Editor. So as I say, the the biggest reason why this is important is really because of um uh gameplay you know because if you have the same thing in the same place and players know it's always there then you know they're, they're going to farm it and they you know you're going to have problems with the loot economy becoming imbal unbalanced and people having everything while we're here as well i think i'll probably mention this is in almost every video as well because obviously daisy editor works for console and works for pc just please 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 remember that on console we can't spawn in the builder stuff that's all down here anything that says bldr we can't spawn in you can on pc if you've got the builder mod installed on your server but we can't have this stuff generally what we're installing is the static stuff and the land stuff they're the sort of objects and the stuff that we can we can spawn in and, and get stuff working that way. Then and of course obviously we could search for M4A1. So you see with the M4A1 there's the builder M4A1, which is the one we can't spawn in, and the M4A1 normal green and the black. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Hopefully that explains the difference um, as to why. Now actually that's not the end of the video because. What you would do, and I've talked about this previously, what you would do is if you do want loot to spawn in normally, what you've got to make sure you do is use the file export to make sure you export your correct map group pos uh, snippet as well as your object spawner. So when you export your object spawner, that's the file that just tells the server where to put everything, so your tents and everything like that. And the map group pos is a snippet of code that you add to the map 
add to the map group pos on your server so you, you add it in and that tells the server look there's a military tent here um, it's, it's these coordinates at this rotation and the game will then look into its map group proto and know what's what loot to spawn in i will be covering that in another video though but i just wanted to add that in at the end just in case you're wondering well wait a minute if i do spawn in stuff with daisy editor how do i get stuff to spawn in but if you look through the playlist about the video you'll see another one another video tutorial about that subject okay so hopefully you found this useful if you have it like if you want to the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon